You right there guys, well today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be building a shelving unit for a play center. I'm going to be taking you on a job that I'm doing, we're going to try this out the best I can. It's going to be a simple shelf for storage and stuff like that. So we're going to pick up some wood now and go get on it. By the way, before I go, alright, see the workshop's getting a bit better, we've got some plugs in, they're not wired up yet, but um, we're, we're painted at least, hopefully get the roof on within the next couple of days. So the rest of the shed build videos will be out soon. So the wood's all got now. I need to cut it down so I can get it in the workshop. You know what? If there's one tool I really hate, that's a circular saw. Just can't get the knack of it. it always kicks back for me. Right, so that's the, all the pieces cut down to a decent size to get into the workshop. Um, now to tidy up the workshop a little bit, bring the pieces in, cut them down to size, build the frame up, get it to the job site. Let's go. Right, so I'm going to get the cross beams in. We're going to go on top like this. So it gives you more, more shelf space, uh, pretty much. So I need one, two, three, four. So I need eight of these. Right, so that's that done. Um, now we just need to square these up, screw them down. Make the other one and cut the slats. This is the smaller of the two shelves. So that's one side done. I just need to do this three, four more times. So this here is the smaller shelf. So I'm cutting these slats at 180 centimetres. Um, I've set up a stop block. I really didn't want to screw into my top, but I haven't got a stop block sorted out and I needed a stable one at the moment. So I've had to screw into my work top, which I'm gutted about, but eh, needs must. So I've got the first shelf done. This is the little one. Let's go on to the bigger one. So the van's loaded up, we're off to deliver the shelves. In case anyone wondered, I actually now have a van. Um, so if anyone wants anything moving in Derbyshire or Chesterfield, you know, just give me a message. stock room I've just brought all the stuff in I've measured it up a little bit this isn't actually fitted this is just sat here for the time being um, worked out that I cut some of the pieces wrong had to go back had to recut some of those bits but we're back here um, and literally now I've just got to install it so let's go so we're going to install one of the inside slats first just to try and keep stuff a little bit stable Now I've got that one in, I'm going to try and get the front one on and then work my way backwards. Uh, the front one needs to be notched out a little bit. So now all I'm going to have to do is just place the slat, 
cut the notches. Let's time lapse this. Tell you what, there's one thing that I need to invest in, and that is some knee pads because my knees are killing me. On a bonus note, a little uh, light on the Makita drill, uh, impact drill, really good. Right, on to the big one. I'm not going to show you the process of this one, but it's the same as the smaller one. So we're going to fire through this and then I'll show you the end result. So there we go, I've brought you on a little job here that I've done. A uh, small shelf big shelf uh, and this is just for this little storage room so this is perfectly fine for what it is please like and subscribe if you like this sort of stuff I have some interesting stuff coming up so uh, I look forward to seeing you next time